Perfect. My name is Rafi Media Villa from criticologos.com. Thank you, Emma. Thank you, Clara, for taking a little bit of time to talk about the series. I've loved what I've seen so far, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I, I, the novel is mostly about Lucy and, and Stephen, and I want something that I loved about the, the series is we dove into more characters. We included more characters. I want to, I want you to, yeah, I want the two of you open questions to you to, uh, to expand on how this happened with, uh, with, the, with the ensemble, uh, Kyle, you first. So yeah, I think when Megan Oppenheimer, who's the showrunner, um, read the book and was interested in adapting it, I think she decided that the, the story itself and the sort of core mystery that's driving the story would be better served by an ensemble cast of mm -hmm. characters. And I also think just like true to college, you're not the only person that you're in college with. And I think in order to make the show realistic as like a, as a freshman year story, um, there needed to be friends. There needed to be people who were also sort of implicated in the drama. And, um, you know, otherwise it would have been a two hander and it would have been fine. But I definitely think that the show itself and, and the way in which the show can really impact a larger audience is, is, is bolstered by the fact that there's, a many characters that you can kind of dive into outside of Lucy and yeah. Steven. Emma, you want to add something? Yeah, I mean, I just love to me, I feel like, especially when you're that age, like your actions have such a ripple effect on your friend group. And I think that, you know, the Lucy and Steven relationship, the way that, you know, their actions really like kind of ricochet out to their friend group in ways that are obvious, ways that will be revealed, ways that, you know, drive the show. I, I just think it's so interesting. And, and, and when you're that age, like your friend group is everything, you know, um, obviously when you're in college, when you're in high school, it's like your friends are just your whole life. So I, I feel like showing that kind of part for, for Lucy, especially was, was really important. Um, I've got a question to the two of you also. Um, this, uh, when it comes to Lucy and Stephen and the book, you know, I think it's a blessing that we can we, we can provide we can see this series in Hulu, not in a cable show, because we cannot push those limits. How far did were you, were you guys willing to go with the limits that were were pushed on the on the novel itself when it comes to Lucy and Stephen's relationship? Uh, Emma, you first this time. Say that again. How you, far were you you cable? you felt you were able to push the limits of the Lucy's and uh, Lucy's and and Steven's story when it comes to the book to the series? Well, I feel like we definitely weren't like we weren't hindered. Like Hulu was wanted this to be you know as as honest as we wanted it to be as honest as you know Megan felt comfortable being as the actors felt comfortable being like so basically you know we got to do whatever we wanted within everybody's comfortability and I feel like because of that the show does feel very real and raw and but not gratuitous you know like everything that was done was really you know for the story and to kind of show like this is this is what this character is going through and it might not be glamorous and it might not be fun, but it's real. Kyra, you want to add something? Yeah, I mean, Hulu I mean, Hulu had just come off of, you know, putting out Normal People, which I think really treated sex in an artful and, you know, um, interesting and I think kind of unseen way. And we definitely had that in mind as like being also a show on that network and the creative, t you know, team at Hulu is just like so supportive. And I think... Yeah, I mean, but Megan wanted to make a show about college sex, right? So, and real college sex. So it was going to be something that was provocative. And I think they were supportive of us, sort of however we interpreted that. Um, Cara, I want to tell you that I absolutely love Holler. So uh, congratulations on that movie. I oh, thanks. That. that was an amazing <laughs> movie. But Emma, I want to ask you, you know, transitioning from actor to producer, what, what have you learned that you kind of applied to both you know, both, both hats, both roles. Well, I think for me, it was so much fun to, I felt like there was a little bit, even though I had like more responsibility in certain ways, there was a weight lifted and not being on the show where I really got to like take a step back and be creative in a different way. And we, we got the most incredible lead as Lucy Grace Van Patten. And so to have her and to have Jackson White as Steven, you know, and, and I really get to be objective on the relationship and the scenes and, and just, I don't know, that was very freeing for me where I wasn't producing something where I was looking at myself. Like, I don't, I, I just don't think that would have worked, especially on a show like this, which is so intimate and personal. Um, and so it was really fun to just get to be behind the scenes with, 
Kara, who's my partner and my best friend and really get to, I don't know, just, I'd, I'd never gotten to be like this creative without also acting. And so it was really, really freeing and nice. Once and I again, just want to say one uh, thing yeah. about working with an actor as a producer is that like, I don't know what the experience of being an actor is and Emma does. And there are just like certain nuances that Emma knows, like even things that like happen in the hair and makeup truck or something. And like, what's good at the end of the day? Like, those are all, all things that I think really like add to being a producer that like producers, most producers are not actors. And I think mm -hmm. like, there's just a very specific set of knowledge that an actor has going into something that like allows you to have a kind of different point of view about what your actors are going through on set, et cetera. And I think Emma really just like naturally has that because she's been doing this for 20, you know, 25 years or whatever, not to age her. Thank you, 22. That's, <laughs> what, I wanted, that's what I wanted to ask that question. So I guess I think I'll run out of time. So thank you. Congratulations to the thank two of you. So thank much. you so much.